everybody welcome back to my channel today I just wanted to go over uh, hopefully pretty quickly all the diamond paintings that I've done what I've learned what I like what I don't like um, just some honest reviews I try and be pretty honest in my reviews when I do them online but sometimes it's really hard like you want to give them a bad review but it's hard you don't want to give them a one star and all of that um, if I can find it I will link all of the sellers um, down below in the description. I know at least one of these lovely pictures that I had a problem with the seller no longer exists. Shocking. Um, the first one I did was Autumn. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this one. I mean, I have some qualms to it, but from far away, this is absolutely beautiful. Like I have my camera flipped to the front and oh, it looks so pretty. Minus like this, this is not the best. <laughs> The problem is when you start getting up close, like, what is that? What is that? And then if you look at the umbrella, if you didn't know what it was, like if you didn't know that this was a woman with an umbrella walking, I feel like it would look weird. I had a friend ask me if it was an alien while I was making it. Let's see if it'll focus on it. So that is the painting it was designed off of which is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, my only real qualm is it's still super pixelated. This is definitely a Monet. It looks beautiful from far away. You get up close and it's just not. And this is a 35 by 50. This took me a long time. It was my very first one. I had no idea what I was doing. Not everything is perfect. This is what I learned how to do the um, multi-layering with my favorite pen. Um, but it's got tons of colors. It's absolutely beautiful. The pixelation is not my favorite. Like I wouldn't frame this, but I mean, I have, I gave them a five star review. It's really nice. My only problem was it's a little, it's a little wavy, nothing like the other ones I've gotten. This one just didn't get smushed in the mail at all. Absolutely love it. It's called Almond, Almond, <laughs> Autumn. And I got it off Amazon. The last time I checked, it was still there. Uh, the next ones I got, I don't have anymore because I had to return them to Amazon. So the same artist, and I think it was the same seller, had a two pictures. And I think they were 30 by 40, I think, or maybe it was 30 by 45. The problem was the same thing where it looked really pixelated. It was worse than that one. Like it was like a stick weird thing for one of the... Uh, for couples, which is two people kissing with an umbrella. The problem was the umbrella didn't, <laughs> I had to fix it because the umbrella didn't have a handle to it. They just hadn't included it. It was just poor pixelation quality. Uh, it was still beautiful. I still liked it. I was going to put it in my bedroom, the two set above uh, my bed, but I didn't like it enough to want to. And the problem was when I got to the second one, it had missing uh like the whole top section like there was a whole top section here that was just like big patches and little patches of one color that i ended up with 10 when i needed like 50 or 60 more tried to contact the seller couldn't contact the seller contacted amazon and they told me to return it so i had to return both of them and that was a good 20 hours of work and it was also a circle of the circles but oh my gosh I was so upset well because I couldn't finish it I didn't have extra drills and I didn't know quite I had fixed the one before I had fixed the umbrella a little bit uh, so it looked like an umbrella because it didn't before because of the way it was pixelated and I didn't like I didn't feel comfortable it was my second and my third diamond painting so shipped it back off to Amazon I hope that I can figure out how to put pictures like right now. A big fan. I was not a big fan of it to start with. So my next one was my first from China. I got this off AliExpress. It's of course Elsa. Now I picked this one because her face, it's her profile and she's kind of looking away because faces, that's like the biggest complaint is faces are not great on like these kinds of canvases. This was supposed to be a 30 by 40. Now this is one I have complained about in more than one video. I know I did in my very first one, um, which is the picture I'm about to show next, but 
you can see I have written on top that is how big it actually is um, it's like a 25 by 32 I think and I contacted the seller to be like well first I left them a very very good review and then I measured it because I was like this looks small like it doesn't look like the right size I didn't have anything to really compare it to other than the mute to which was a 40 by 40 and I just hadn't thought like I didn't think somebody was gonna lie to me I contacted them say I hey I measured it here's a picture of it like how do you want to make this right I'm actually kind of really upset about this I really loved it I gave you a good review how do we fix this and he literally responded with read the description that's it they're very rude we went back and forth I did read the description it was my fault they did say that uh, the whole canvas was the 30 by 40 they had like each of the sizes and they're like here's the size we're selling you here's the size of the actual picture and I contacted them and I've since found that other people do it but I was like I have not seen anybody else do this I have never had anybody be rude like you're being it is my fault but you're being very rude and I don't appreciate that at all and at that point, like, I was like, it's my fault. I totally get it, but I don't appreciate the way you're treating me. And if I could leave you a one star, I would leave you a one star right now. And they basically were like, well, we're so sorry that you feel that way about something that was clearly stated in our description. I was like, why are you still being rude? I haven't contacted AliExpress. They have an option that says seller was rude. So I might, I might. It depends if I'm in a really bad mood. I will. But I, it's the problem is I do like it. It's really pretty. And I'm going to frame it for my daughter. It looks really nice. I didn't have to alter anything on it like I did on my last, my ones from Amazon. It looked perfect the way it is. Up close, Monet again. If you get right up there, her face is not the best ever. I don't like that there's no picture of what it's supposed to be. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not saying how many colors. So this one had 20 which is a, which is not a whole bunch, but I mean, look how much of that's black. And this is my first, well, this was my second square because I did this one after Mewtwo. I do not have Mewtwo. If I can, I'll post a picture now. For her birthday and she absolutely loved it and I loved it and it was the first square I had ever done and I thought it was the absolute best. Uh, my brother pointed out that there were spacings in it that shouldn't be there. And I was like, thanks, bud. That's so nice of you to say. He wasn't being mean, vicious. He's just pointing it out because the tack isn't there, I guess. But this one had, uh, what was it, 33. And I mean, the symbols are pretty okay. Like I said, there's two. I wish they were next to each other so I could show you. Okay, so where to go so that right there is a spade I don't think you guys are able to see it and then that is the down arrow if you go to my Instagram which is uh, rainbow crafter 33 I have a picture of it they're right next to each other they're a shade off as far as the coloring behind the symbol but my word it was not You two, also, there's a picture. My biggest complaint with it was I didn't understand the quality control. So when I got it and a bunch of the pieces were all wonky, I didn't know that I had to take those out because they would mess up the row. So I had a lot of popping and I had to pull things out after the fact and all of that. And that was really annoying. However, it had um, symbols that were really close to each other. And they were in the same spots and they didn't have colored backs and they were the same color like y and v were literally alternating right next to each other which could very easily be mixed up there was an a and then there was um like a pyramid and then right here there was a triangle in it so it looked like an a and you had to really really look at it i think there was another one too but those were the two really bad ones things off of Amazon next day shipping um, because I am obsessed and I needed more and I had things that I had ordered from China that hadn't come yet 
Uh, like my son's Pikachu, it didn't ship until after the Chinese New Year and my daughter's Elsa had. So I had gotten this one, I had finished this one. And then, oh my gosh, how cute is this, you guys? Oh my gosh, even up close, it isn't bad. I mean, it's very pixelated up close, but you can still tell what it is. I love this. And the hilarious part, look at that. There's only 14 on this. And look how distinguished they are. Super easy to tell. There was no, absolutely no problems with this. Other than it shipped and got smushed, just like I've been complaining about some of my other ones. But the main one is, it got smushed on the top. Now it doesn't affect the actual thing, like it literally just got here. And it's a shipping error, but you should ship your stuff correctly if it's not gonna get ruined. My son's Pikachu, totally fine. It came with a foam roller, it was amazing. I did an unboxing of it, but this is absolutely one of my favorites. I love this so much. And this was a 30 by 40, I believe. I love it. I absolutely love it, this one. Uh, I need to frame it. My kids really like it too. Then, <laughs> the bait of my existence. Oh, I have so many feelings about this one. And if you've watched anything on my channel, you would know this. So I got, everybody is all about that blue peacock. Well, I got the white one. And it is so beautiful. And it has these little gems here that, oh, see, they kind of, oh, they're so pretty. It's so pretty. The flowers are beautiful from farther away. Like, it's just, it looks so detailed. The head is weird, but it's whatever. It is it is so, so beautiful. I loved this so much. Minus pretty much only one thing. It, the adhesive on it is horrible. Absolutely horrible. I, it's not sticky enough. I would put a drill down and then it would lift back up with my pen. I could hardly use my multi drill. Did one of them literally just come out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just from touching it. Yep. What is that? Is that a Z? Yeah, it tends to be Zs. If you watch my final uh, drill with me about this, it happens. It got stuck on my hand a couple times, but that is literally, I'm just rubbing, it's not, I'm not doing anything. The just the adhesive is so bad, but it's so pretty. Oh gosh. And the quality control is not the best. Uh, there were a lot of bad ones. And this one, I ended up with one of the colors that is a big, big color on it. I ended up with, I think it was 11 left over. And I seriously freaked out. I thought I was gonna run out. I can't remember which color it was, but oh my goodness, I about died. So anyways, it's, it, it kind of ruined the experience because I had to be so careful and it was just bad. And then the other thing is, it is nice and crinkled. Oh, so crinkled. I mean, now that I know that you can iron it carefully, I would have, but that's part of why they pop out is it's so bad. like you can see like you can feel it as you put it across it's worse than my cat one and my cat one costs six bucks i think this one i mean it's still not super for how big it is but it was 28 dollars, i think which is the most expensive one by a long shot of everything that i've bought and i get that it's bigger but still i'm like this was not one of those ones that's like one penny plus five dollars shipping like it was actually expensive for me that's expensive i know it's not this would have been 60 bucks if I'd gotten it from an American seller, but I would have returned it if I'd gotten it from one of them because the quality control is horrible, absolutely horrible. I really almost returned it, but I didn't. And right after, thankfully, I was almost done with this when finally Pikachu arrived. Oh, and I'm not done with Pikachu yet, but look how cute Pikachu is. Oh my goodness. This is for my son. He's obsessed with Pokemon. As I said, my niece wanted a Mewtwo. So then of course my son wanted um, 
a Pikachu because he is obsessed with anything that she is obsessed with. This is the picture it is based off of. And this one has, what was it, 30 something? 28, 29, I think maybe it was 30 um, things. And they're actually, it's this one's very well done. There's a couple that I have complained about um, that have matching, like there's a whole bunch of crosses with just different, it's, I had to write on it, like I would do the cross and then I'd put like uh, DB for dark brown, LB, light brown, like it just so I could more easily determine what went where. But also something that I love about this now, now it's the quality control is, no, like that that's how many rejects I have currently this does not include all of the stuck together ones that I had to buy one of the special little machines to break them apart but oh my god like it's fine it's, I love it though oh I love it it's beautiful it's not popping out like the peacock and this about it do you see the little face on his tail my husband says it looks like Ike from South Park. The little Canadian characters that their heads completely remove and now I can't unsee it. So I think Pikachu has a little Ike on it, which is so freaking funny. But the colors are really nice. It's, I, I really don't have a lot of complaints. This is probably my favorite after the Mewtwo. The Mewtwo, even with the problems, was my absolute favorite. Oh, this is also a square. Um, it's beautiful, it turned out really nice. It was my first square drill and I was able to do it. And probably it would be currently that I would do my Pikachu for my son then my cats, because I love it, you know, and then Elsa. I really, as much as I complain in my videos and I nitpick, I've really, really enjoyed most of these. My white peacock is about the only one I have not enjoyed at all. I mean, that's a lie. I did enjoy it. But not like it made me sad because I couldn't enjoy it nearly as much as I wanted to. Would not buy again. I'm actually really kind of unhappy because all the reviews, nobody said anything about that. I don't know if I just got a bad one or the people are just new at it and don't know what they're talking about. But I mean, having one dud from seven is not bad. Um, having to return the two was very hard and that was really depressing, but it was for the best. And like I said, I actually was not super impressed with it, so it was okay. Um, so anyways, I am gonna go work on Pikachu some more. I just did a drill with me of the ear here and then I messed up a recording for his leg here, so the next one will probably be here. And I'll probably work my way up and do the face last because it's the cutest. So if you aren't subscribed, subscribe. Give this a like if you like this kind of uh, thing. I'm still trying to figure out content. Um, I mean, I, I picked Crafter for my name because I diamond paint, I sew, I knit, I crochet, I want to get into cross stitching. I kind of just like making stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.